Whether uniting as a team or going solo against the world, these players compete in the highest level of professional gaming. They are victors of the mind game, players that possess the X factor when performing in front of thousands. Their names are remembered in the Pro Gaming Hall of Fame. These are the icons of esports. Welcome to the dynamic and ever-evolving world of Smite Esports. A place where gaming champions are celebrated as modern-day digital celebrities. In this code of pro gaming, there existed a player who has remained a testament to the passion, dedication and love for the game. He possessed a drive that has inspired other players in the league to reach new heights. His name is Anders Korsbo, better known to the wider community as the incredible Cuvo Fred. Born in May 1997 in the country of Denmark, this Smite elite created a legacy in the famed MOBA title assuming the role of team jungler over his many years of play. His love for the game began when his brother obtained a set of beta keys for an early build of Smite. Learning every inch of the game, Anders quickly learned that he had the skills to go pro. Beautiful two-man vanish. The last is counter initiates on a trick stand perfectly. They get him locked down. The stinger seals the kill for Zadman, but he's stuck out in the lightning storm. Down the fall to Cuba, Fred Driver as Dignitas tries to escape. Late March 2014, Atlanta, Georgia. Flying the flag for Team Solo Mid, a 16-year-old Cuvo Fred alongside teammates Game Hunter, Lobster, Young Bay, and Trix Tank fought with the best in front of an open crowd at the Smite launch tournament, the first of its kind for the rising MOBA. The team qualified for the event's grand final, showing a level of concentration and team adaptability that had never been seen before in the game. Their opponent in the best of five showdown was the highly feared Team Dignitas, who had previously asserted their dominance in a gruelling run through the event's loser side bracket. With a one-game advantage due to their upper bracket success, Team Solo Mid defeated their American adversaries with flying colours. In their first matchup, Cuvo Fred brought Freya into the mix and began his farm in the jungle. In the hard-fought 33-minute game, Cuvo Fred fell seven times on the battlefield, including his sacrifice to a Phoenix Tower in the final moments of the match. The enemy Titan fell, with Young Bay leading the way with ten eliminations to his name. It was a narrow victory, but Cuvo Fred and his team got the job done. With Nemesis locked in for the second game, Cuvo Fred was adamant that he and his squad could pull off a flawless series against Team Dignitas. The tempo had completely changed for Cuvo Fred as he started to pile up kills and in turn gold for his side. Ending the live High res Studios event with a score of eight eliminations and seven assists, Cuvo Fred earned his first Premier Tournament win. He's fighting for his life, he's fighting for the championship, he's fighting for everything he stands for, but will he be able to survive? Gets Young Bay, but goes down the Titan, it's getting lower and lower and lower. TSM takes the World Championship Smite Launch Tournament. This glorious moment in Smite Esports history was but the beginning of a larger dynasty for Cuvo Fred. That will adapt him full. No, he'll spin out and wrap his gun in with a big ultimate as well. The no following year in late November, Smite pro players Zalia and Funballer joined the famed lineup to form the new Paradigm Smite roster and turned their focus towards the 2015 Smite Super Regional Championship for the Season 2 European Division. Four Valiant teams earned their chance at the live tournament in Alpharetta 
with each player hungry for the Super Regional title, as well as the lion's share in over a quarter of a million dollars in prizes. The event's grand final would be a brutal head-to-head -head between Cuvo Fred and his gang versus Epsilon Esports, a powerful team coached under the guidance of Cuvo Fred's former teammate, Young Bay. Locking in Cabracken for the jungle, Cuvo Fred and his squad focused on the first game of the series. On to Epsilon. Paradigm were forcing fights down laneways while maintaining a strong gold lead. Epsilon Phoenix Towers continued to crumble in what would be a gruelling fight for survival. Although Cuvo Fred fell at the last second, he wrapped up the first game with nine assists and a single kill to his name. In the face, the Titans at 50%. Epsilon Esports is trying to do what they can to so defend. So much damage. Raffer is going to fall thanks to Cubo, or at least push him out of the fight. The Titans at 25%. And Melito gets a kill, but the Titan is not looking strong. And Paradigm take the first game in the European Regional Championship. Recovering from a game two loss, Paradigm more than made up for it in the third when Cuvo Fred strolled onto the battlefield with a highly dangerous Bassett. Paradigm didn't just beat Epsilon, they thrashed them in what was just under 30 minutes of pro-level conflict. Alongside teammate Funballer, Cuvo Fred racked up six eliminations to put his team at tournament point. The excitement was real for the Black and Gold Army. With Epsilon tying the score in the fourth game of the series, both teams needed to think wisely in the Super Regional's final draft. Cuvo Fred took to the jungle with the goddess of venom, Sir Kett. With so much on the line, the fans knew that this was going to be a very close game. Although Cuvo Fred was the main focus at times, he more than made up for it with smart plays and brutal damage. Epsilon members often never saw him coming. With a massive 12k gold lead, Paradigm wiped their European rivals off the board and sunk all they had into their Titan. The Titan down to 75% HP. They did it! Lobster gets a kill. Football gets a kill. Adapting the only Paradigm one lead. Epsilon! What? what? Paradigm, what? your European regional champion. Cuvo Fred and his crew proved to the world that they were kings of European smite, taking home the Super Regional title. But this was just the beginning of a much larger story for the Danish eSports star. Following several years of moving from team to team, Cuvo Fred was recruited by an A-listed organisation that still leaves its mark on the world of eSports today. Standing side by side with Trix Tank once more, the duo were signed with Variety, Zeros and Arkel to form the 2017 Smite division of Dignitas in order to wreak havoc in Season 3 of the Smite Pro League. Admiral, thank you so much. After earning the top spot in the European Summer Season qualifiers, Cuvo Fred and his team were undeniably the best there were from their division. They earned first-class tickets to DreamHack Valencia to compete in the Smite Pro League Summer Finals, a premier event with a 150,000 US dollar prize pool attached. The team went completely undefeated in the single elimination DreamHack bracket, proving to the Spanish crowd that they had dominated Europe and were now on a mission for the title of the best in the world. Yeah. They've seen the weakness, they've seen a chance, the deadly vipers are coming in, the B, the yellow and blue, it's a yellow and black. They're not even going for the fight, they're not even going for the fight, right for the Titan, down it goes, game one, Dignitas. Seal window, expose the weakness, wow. and by game one. That winning momentum that Cuvo Fred and his team showed all weekend poured into the first game of the Live Valencia Grand Final, when squared up against regional contenders' team rival in what was a strenuous 41-minute game. Ready to farm camps once more, Cuvo Fred locked in Camazots for the second match 
as the team on the order side began plotting their next victory. Taking a turn for the better at the 21 minute mark, Dignitas started to overpower rival at every turn once more. Scoring four eliminations and nine assists, Cuvo Fred contributed greatly towards his team's second grand finals win. With a massive 18,000 gold difference, Dreamhack was under Dignitas's control. The crowd is starting to hit those thunder sticks because they realize this could be the end of game two. I size baby does make it out. Three waves of fire minions. The Titan has no HP. Although Dignitas were now on tournament point, they would undoubtedly have their work cut out for them in the following two games. Team rival came alive. With a brutal score of 21 eliminations to 10 in Game 3, the team in purple and white found their first Grand Finals win. Rival solo laner Deathwalker ended the match with a brutal 9 kills and 10 assists. Doubt started to take over in the following game as Rival once again proved too much. It was a low scoring match, but the underdogs were able to secure their 40 minute victory in order to push out the Summer Grand Finals into a Game 5 tiebreaker. Returning to his Camazot's pick in the draft, Cuvo Fred knew that there was so much on the line. The Jungle Master opened with the first kill of the game, taking down Vote in a two-on-one to kickstart the game's first team fight. His second came minutes later when pursuing Wolfie in the mid lane. Cuvo Fred knew exactly what had to be done to secure victory. Anders just couldn't be stopped. A double kill in the duo lane further pushed out Dignitas's gold lead and granted Cuvo Fred the items he needed to scale into the late game. Team rival were exhausted. With a fire giant buff behind his team, Cuvo Fred charged through the last remaining Phoenix side tower to end the fifth game with an amazing five kill, seven assist result. Dignitas became the kings of Valencia. Cuvo Fred and Arkel from the sky get the kill. Variety finishes up. They did it. Variety to the Dubayoon. That's it. That's enough. That fire giant call was the call that gave Dignitas the win. It wasn't easy. Through strong team communication and an unbreakable game plan, Cuvo Fred and his squad wrapped up the 2017 Summer Finals in style. This monumental win proved to the Global Smite community that Cuvo Fred was indeed one of the game's most elite players. Every minion he slayed, opponent he faced, and Titan he besieged all came down to the year of 2020. Smite Pro League Season 7 still to this day has been the most challenging yet successful season in Cuvo Fred's career. Accompanied by teammates Scary D, Paul, Zapman and Neilmar, the five-player squad formed the new season's Pittsburgh Knights Smite Esports team. Challenged by the COVID-19 crisis and poor phase results, no one would have picked the Pittsburgh Knights to win a phase split, let alone a world championship compared to the rest of the SPL competition. Proving the doubters wrong, Cuvo Fred and his Season 7 crew made it to Worlds. Not only did they survive the playoffs bracket by the skin of their teeth, but they also broke through barriers for a position in the online Grand Final Spectacular to face off against the destructive Ghost Gaming. Hitting the battlefield with Sukiyomi, Cuvo Fred found his first win of the Smite World Championship Grand Final in the very first game. Wrapping things up with a massive six eliminations and 12 assists. Wasting no time, the Pittsburgh Knights put their game faces on for the next drafting phase. With his success on Tsukiyomi in the first game, 
Cuvo Fred reselected the God of the Moon for a second time in the set. This time around, it was Ghost Gaming who gained the upper hand early on in the match. With the gold and eliminations heavily in their opponent's favour, the Knights pulled off the near impossible and stole the Fire Giant kill. With their gods imbued, it was time to turn game two around. With the odds completely against them, Cuvo Fred and his squad wiped Ghost Gaming off the map and commenced their assault of the final objective. 20 seconds on Sam at the least. Mike is the only one standing and the Knights say no lead is too big, no chasm is too wide to cross as the Knights barrel into the Titan room. Ghost Gaming are about to go down 0-2 to a team that had to play four games just to get here. The Pittsburgh Knights were on World Championship Tournament points. Following a short reprieve, Ghost Gaming turned up the dial in the third game, collecting Pittsburgh heads with barely any risk. In just under 27 minutes, Ghost found their first win with a massive 17k gold the difference. The laneways and camps were under their full control. It all went from bad to worse in the fourth matchup as Ghost once again maintained the tempo of the game. The gold and eliminations were close, but the team fights and communication from the squad in red was on point. Kamazots was the god of choice for Cuvo Fred going into the fifth and final game of the Smite World Championship Grand Final. Ghost Gaming were on a rampage, so Pittsburgh needed to lift their game in the final match. Scary D fell to first blood, but it was Cuvo Fred and Paul who snapped up a kill only seconds later. The Pittsburgh Knights were the first to lose a tower. The team was at a slight disadvantage in the way of gold. Cuvo Fred found two approaching the 18-minute mark, freeing up lanes to ultimately push. After landing three glorious kills on Ghost Gaming, the Knights went for the jugular. They made a strong attempt at the Titan via the mid lane, but were ultimately forced to retreat. With the Fire Giant buff behind them, Ghost Gaming destroyed their enemy's mid lane Phoenix Tower along with Zapman. They weren't ready to commit to the Titan and chose to back off. It all came down to a 41-minute fight at the Fire Giant, where Ghost Gaming were completely wiped off the map. Although Neilmar dropped in the onslaught, Cuvo Fred and the rest of his team charged straight into their World Championship victory. He's got no ultimate available. Paul with the transformation. The Pittsburgh Knights are going back to back. That is it. Pittsburgh Knights lightning strikes twice. On that fateful day, in the midst of a worldwide pandemic, Cuvo Fred earned his Smite World Championship title. With the new season and the team restructuring of the SPL, Cuvo Fred maintained his position as Team Jungler for the Honourable Oni Warriors, before retiring from the SPL in January 2023. With each phase and season that came to pass, his pro gaming journey taught us that success is not solely defined by fame or fortune. Instead, it is measured by the dedication and passion one brings to their craft. Cuvo Fred served as a reminder that behind every great esports match lies countless hours of practice, unwavering commitment, and an unquenchable love for the game. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with the amazing esport content from around the gaming globe. Only on Unbeaten Esports.